Speaking at the Global Justice Day celebration, the head of the movement for one Liberia, Magdala Cooper, described injustice as a fungus that needs to be collectively removed from the society. <laughs> when I came home in 2005, right. I saw a great deal of injustice happening in our nation, even post the war. It is all of our issue, and this is why all of us got to put hands together and tackle this fungus within our society. Because the fungus the Jiga toe has gone to all the other toes, it's gone to the fingers, and we have got to stop it because it's going to take over our nation. Right. And we will not tolerate that anymore. Mm. The opposition politician challenged President George Weir to take concrete action in the fight against injustices, saying, we demand justice and we will fight until we achieve it. Because this is an issue that every Liberian must be a part of. Yes. The fight against this fungus in our society must be something that every citizen, and if you're not part of the fight against rape in our society or injustice in our society, that means you are a perpetrator and will go after you. Yes. And if you are in an elected position, we'll get you out. Because they put, they didn't let you into a position just to sit there and be a bubble. They elected you to fight their fight. Sure. Because from the head of state is a position where you can just speak and things will be put in order. And so we are calling on the president of, the, of, 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 of this great nation, Liberia, to stand with us in our fight against all of the injustice, the form of injustice in our country. And so, Mr. President, we're calling on you this day, the day of justice in our nation sure. to stand with the UN, to stand with the, the CSOs and to stand with the Justice Forum and the victims and we the women and the mothers of this nation. Sure. We are calling the president to stand with us and voice your opinion so that your followers who are might or may not be a perpetrator so they all know that you stand with us. Sure. Because that's the only way justice will be brought to order. Mm -hmm. And we are demanding justice. We're not asking for justice. We are demanding justice. Yeah. The same when the president came up and said, we all must stay home at 3 o'clock, we stay home. We want the president to say, if any more rape, that person will be put to justice. Yes. Providing some statistics about sexual gender-based violent cases in Liberia as of June and July 2020 was Onita Ramos, SGBV and Domestic Violence Specialist for Rural Liberia at the Ministry of Justice. We're having a serious problem with justice. Fast track to our, uh, where perpetrators sit for too long. According to our statistics from last month for the, our state of emergency, we had uh, 602 cases. Uh, the statistics reached reach my desk two days ago. Right now we had 193 cases where we see gang rape, mm -hmm. sodomy is on the rise. Statutory rape remains to be our biggest problem in this uh, country. In a move to address the menace from the society, the UN Office of the High Commissioners for Human Rights in Liberia pledged its commitment to supporting the people's quest to reconciliation and accountability for past human rights violations. Uh, in any country, for there to be development, there must be peace as the moderator rightly said. And for there to be peace, there must be accountability, which serves as a deterrent to perpetrators of similar crimes. As the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, we commit to supporting the government and the people of Liberia in their quest for reconciliation and accountability for past human rights violations. Do not use COVID-19 pandemic as an excuse in not meeting up with your national and international human rights obligations, says the Civil Society Human Rights Justice Platform Secretary General Adaman Dempster. The human rights community is calling on the government of Liberia to not use COVID-19, to not use COVID-19 as an excuse to meeting up with its national and international human rights obligation. Do not have behind COVID-19. With reference to rape, and more importantly, the full implementation of the United Nations Human Rights Committee concluding observation on Liberia. This is very important. So do not use COVID-19 as an excuse. 
if you can recall, if you can recall, on July 2018, the United Nations Human Rights Committee, in its concluding observation in Geneva, recommended with a two-year deadline, which has expired already this, this July, that the state party Liberia should, as a matter of priority, establish a process of accountability for past human rights violations and war crimes that conform to international standards, including, including independence of the judiciary, giving vetting access to justice, due process and fair trial, and of course, witness protection. Launching the accountability platform, Mr. Dempster said they remain committed to the campaign to seek justice for all. We remain committed to the fight and the campaign to seek justice for all. The three posters basically are described within the TRC report on the component of justice that will help to bring final healing to the Republic of Liberia. And so these posters will be shared among our partners, local communities, victim groups, and of course, you the journalists, for a broader awareness to our general public. The international celebration, among other things, was meant to raise awareness geared towards supporting issues around justice across the globe. This is Julius Conton reporting for Fortune TV, Liberia.